Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. In today's Lightburn Workshop 201, we're going to be talking about image manipulation. And I see on a lot of other platforms that there are so many negative comments about what Lightburn can't do that it actually can. And um, I'm trying to do these workshops so that I can reply to those comments because it's just people that aren't understanding how to use the software and it really is so simple to learn one of the biggest misconceptions is that lightburn can't crop an image and that's just not true lightburn can crop an image just like any other piece of software that's out there uh, with that said let's just go ahead and get started and jump right into it you know i don't do the whole intro thing and uh, all that wasted time and we're just gonna put an image here on the screen I'm going to select it, lock it, make it larger so that we can work with it and you can see exactly what's happening. And this is just something that an image that I grabbed off of Google. Uh, it's supposed to be a camera screen taking a picture and it, I think it's the perfect image to work with to do the crop with. So I'm going to show you two things as far as image cropping in this video and I think you're going to really like the second one so don't go anywhere. First one is just a regular crop. Second one, we're going to do something really cool. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to grab an ellipse, hold down the shift key so that we can draw a perfect circle. We'll start from here. We'll come over to here. Then we're going to select it. You can press the escape key if you like. And we're going to move it right up to the exact circle. And if you start from one side and drag all the way over to the other side, you're going to get a perfect circle that's going to fit the item that you're looking for here. There we have it. And can I say that it's just that simple? What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to select that circle right there and I'm going to put that on a tool path. Let me make this window larger. So if we come down here to the bottom, I'm gonna put it on T1 and you see that it lit up in orange just like T1. Then I'm gonna select them all and watch this. I'm right clicking on the image and I'm going to say apply mask to image and there you go <laughs> it's just that easy and there are so many people out there that say this can't be done in Lightburn it can be done with any object the great thing about it is if you don't get your circle perfectly lined up you can still manipulate it you can click on it you can drag it down like so you can move it around until you've got it in the right spot Additionally, if your image is not in the right spot, this Lightburn is non-destructive. So if we click on this, you'll see the border all the way around. That's the image. It's still there. All we have to do is drag it around and we can manipulate it to the exact spot that we want. And I'll hit undo there. Now, once you're happy with it, all you have to do is select everything again, right click, and come down here to flatten image mask when you do this it does destroy the image and what you're left with is just the crop so now if I move this I can put it anywhere I want and it's good I mean we've got it I can resize it everything resizes perfectly and there we go i mean that, that's just how easy it is to do let's go ahead and get rid of that and start over again now we're going to grab this image i'm going to drag it out and now i'm going to show you something very cool we have our image and something that i like to do personally when i do text i like to have the text with a background to it i don't want just solid text i want it to be different i want it to look different so let's grab some text over here just click right in here and just type text and there we go we have the word so I'm gonna grab this text I'm going to resize it and now again um, I want to emphasize that your text must be on a toolpath to do this okay so you can't have it on one of the other colored layers uh, 0 1 0 2 whatever it has to be on a toolpath to do this so now we have our text we're going to do the same exact thing that we did before. We're going to drag over it all. And uh, I want you to notice that if I drag from the right side, I have the green drag. See, it's green. This will select everything just by going over it slightly. If I drag from the left side, see it's red. It will only select nothing at all unless you get the complete image 
in it. So the, the right side is for selective selecting. The left side selects everything. So let's go ahead and select it. Right click on it. Now watch this. And this is really cool. Check that out. Now we've got the image as a background. Now, I know this is not a great image to use. You want something with a lot of black and whites. You know, but we can take and grab that image. Oh, we got to select off of it. And then we'll grab that image and move it around to exactly where we want. And, you know, where, wherever you want it. I could put it like something like that. Get this in here. Get that in there. And, of course, you're going to want to use a better image. But you can see now I have this texturized background that's really awesome when you go to burn something. And, again, if we come up here and select it all, right-click on it and come down here to Flatten Image Mask, it will destroy the background and this image is now attached to your text permanently whatever you do here it will be responsive so you see how it doesn't move now this is going to burn really cool you're going to have all these different colors in here and i really don't see anyone else doing this which is why i wanted to do this video number one i wanted to get rid of the misnomer that um, light burn can't whatever light burn can't whatever light burn can do everything it's just a matter of learning the software there's no need to have five different types of software and if we grab this now and right click on it and come down here to adjust image we can make this even better so uh, watch, watch what happens if I lower the gamma some if I lower the contrast a little bit raise the brightness let's go ahead and sharpen it up we'll we'll drag drag the radius up to about 14 or 15 somewhere in there and enhance the sharpness and look at how cool that looks so now if we come up here and preview it we have some really cool looking text and i think you're really going to enjoy playing with this feature and make some really nice stuff so there you go it's just that simple and again, Lightburn can do everything if you're willing to take the time to learn it. And I plan on doing a bunch more of these workshops and just doing them quickly. So it's a quick video. It's not something you have to sit here and listen to me for 20 minutes going on and on about all these different features. Um, these workshop tutorials are just going to be focused on one particular thing. And on this one, it's image cropping and using images and backgrounds. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you. Thank you for watching.